Good afternoon, everyone. As a courtesy to your fellow media members, as well as the coaches and student athletes, we do ask that you please silence your cell phones. When called upon, please provide your name and media affiliation each time you ask a question during a press conference. Please direct your question to a specific player or to coach. If you're joining us on Zoom, we ask that you please use the raise hand function for questions and recording press conferences on cell phones or cameras is prohibited. This will be a 12 minute press conference. Joining us are the student athletes from San Diego State University, Lamont Butler, Darion Trammell, and Micah Parrish, as well as head coach Brian Dutcher. At this time, we'll turn it over to Coach Dutcher for his comments on the game and follow up with questions for all. Coach? First of all, I'd like to congratulate Furman University and Coach Ritchie on a great year. They're a really tough club. Uh, we prepared hard. Uh, we knew they were good. And then we played a really good game today at both ends of the floor. Obviously, uh, we hang our hat on defense. Uh, that's the one thing that we do every game. And then when we get uh, the opportunity, we start making shots and play good offensively, then we're very good. So uh, we're fortunate to be moving forward. We're happy. And we're looking forward to playing in the Sweet 16. To the back, please. Uh, Cody Taylor, USA Today. Coach, first time back in the Sweet 16 for the program and uh, since 2014. Just what does it say about this team to, to you know, battle throughout the season and, and make it back there? We're about the right things. I mean, this is a veteran group. They play the right way. Uh, they're for one another. Uh, most teams can't play this deep a bench and have great chemistry. And we have incredible chemistry uh, uh, playing a nine-man rotation. And that's uh, been the key to our success, that we play selfless, we play together, and we're all about winning. To the back. Um, Bryce Miller, San Diego Union Tribune. Um, Dutch, it just seemed like teams have spurts and moments when the energy and effort really peak, but it seems like you guys maintain that throughout. I, there never really was a lull. It seemed like you guys were always hustling, chasing loose balls, the kind of things that win these games. Was it different today in terms of just that sustained effort from start to finish? That's hard to do. It's hard to do, but when you have the depth we have, we always have fresh legs on the floor. We don't play a guy and all of a sudden he's tired because he's so valuable he can't be off the floor. Uh, everybody one through nine is the same on this team. Anybody's capable of leading us in scoring, Anybody capable of making important plays? And our depth is our strength. And that's why we're able to play over a sustained uh, amount of time in any game, because we have great depth. Row three. Uh, Carson Cook, San Diego State University. Darion, from going from JUCO basketball to this, just what does that mean to you? Um, it's just a dream coming true. Um, obviously, we're not done yet, but I mean, it's just a blessing to get here. All the hard work I feel I put in, and just doing things the right way, and I feel like those things, I'm being rewarded for that. And I'm just grateful to be here with my teammates. Back row. Uh, Mark Ziegler, San Diego Union Tribune uh, for Dutch. Um, you've talked all season about how you, you know, wanted the 40 minute performance and a good offensive, good defensive performance. How, how rewarding is it that it came together in this game? It, it's the best. You, you should play your best at the end of the season. And we're playing our best basketball at the end of the season. And that's what we've always done at San Diego State basketball, whether it was Steve Fisher uh, leading this program, growing this pro program, to me taking over, we've always gotten better. And we're playing our best basketball at the most important time of the season. Front row, please. Yeah, Matt Marshall, the Orlando Sentinel. Micah, this is for you. Um, you there was a stretch in the first half where you, you kind of took over a little bit scoring, we're helping them out. What was it that you were able to see that allowed you to kind of get, I guess, freer up in offense? It was just really my teammates just following, uh, finding me a transition. Um, we just try to find an open guy. Each game might not be a game, but uh, I guess today was mine, and the teammates just kept finding me. So I just got to thank my teammates. To the back, please. Oh, sick. Um, Bryce Miller, San Diego Union Tribune. Darion, was this perhaps maybe this team's most complete game? It seems like the contributions defensively, offensively, just came from so many places. You guys really shared the ball and uh, got easier baskets throughout. Um, just was this one of the most complete games? Uh, I think it's one of them. It's one of our most complete games. Uh, I feel like uh, we had another game earlier in the season uh, where our offense is clicking, defense is clicking. But like I say, like, we're not done yet. I feel like we can take another step. Um, that's the urgency we're going to carry in practice every day because I feel like we're not done yet. I'm not sure. 
Row three. Nick Lortzman, Major Major Madness. Coach, talk about that little run you guys had at the end of the first half. 15-0, held them scoreless for about 11 minutes. I know you guys hang your hat on defense. Just talk about that little spurt there. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if we get two or three stops in a row and then we can score a basket, we're going to build on most leads. So I thought our defense was really good. We have an ability to uh, play a center like he's a guard. You know, our bigs have good feet. Our power forwards have good feet. And we just felt playing firm, and we were going against five guards, that these guys were all really skilled and talented, and that even though you're a center, you're guarding a guard tonight. And I thought our defense set everything up for us. Back row. Um, from Lamont, and, and maybe one or two of you also could chime in on this, what did you do to them specifically defensively? I mean, they were late in the shot clock a lot of times. Um, and how much did it help having played Colorado State and Air Force and some of the same principles five times this year? Um, well, we, we tried to pressure them, um, pressure them, try to get them off their sets. Um, and like Dutch said, we got centers who can guard guards. So um, we switched a lot, and that helped a lot. And then uh, we kind of just controlled the tempo on the, on the defensive side, and we didn't let them get out and run and transition uh, as much. So I feel like that helped us a lot. Um, yeah, we just uh, had to disrupt them. Uh, they had two really good players on their team, um, and the whole thing was just disrupt and keep the pressure on them. Uh, we were switching out, and our bigs did a great job guarding the guards, switching out aggressively, and I think our just defensive aggressiveness was just, was just really high tonight. Back row again. Dutch, um, some of the, a lot of the outside conversation in recent years has been about where this program hasn't gotten to in the NCAA tournament. How satisfying is it to, to now shift that in terms of Sweet 16 and now it's about where you have gotten? I just like the professional nature of this team. They're not in there throwing water bottles around. Uh, we have games to play. So as much as we're enjoying this, which we are, it's rare that you can make any kind of run in the tournament. Uh, we're focused on the next task. We're about winning and we want to continue to win. We'll take a question from one of our Zoom attendees. Dan Tortora, name and affiliation, please. Yep, Dan Tortora, wakeupcallvt.com. Coach, for you, for this to be the first Sweet 16 for San Diego State under your tutelage, just what this means to you personally and why you feel like this team is advancing this season? I know it's hard to believe, but I'm not taking any personal credit for it. I mean, I try to think back all the NCAA tournament games I've been involved in, whether it was at Michigan with Coach Fisher or with him at San Diego State, and if you're part of a team, you feel like you're part of all of those. And so as much as people want to say, well, this is your first head coaching experience, I just embraced them all like they were all mine or they were all ours. And so I'm really not focused on what I'm doing for the first time. I'm focused on what we're all doing for the first time. Back row, please. Uh, Micah, at, at halftime, you probably didn't hear this, but Charles Barkley said, um, San Diego State has grown men and Furman has college kids. They just can't handle the physicality. Did you sense that today, that you were just bigger and stronger than them? I mean, <clears throat> I don't think it's fair to say that. I feel like Furman was really good. I just feel like we was just uh, better going inside. They have really good uh, players, four great guards and things like that. So, I mean, we just had a better advantage inside today, so. Front row. Brian, going back to what you just mentioned with having been part of other teams that have gone in the, in the tournament, gone far in the tournament. How can you lean on that experience taking this team into the Sweet 16 next week? I just said it before the game. Let's, teams don't win that play on their heels. We've got to play on our toes. And with that comes some intelligence, though. You just can't go out and just play crazy. So I think we play connected. We play the right way. And we play with confidence. I thought the first game, as much as uh, you can say about it, I thought we were nervous. There's always nerves that go into it. So now that we've settled into the rhythm, we know what this is about. I think we'll play better moving forward. And so that's really encouraging uh, moving into uh, the Sweet 16. Back row again, please. Um, it's going to be a while before you find out who you play, but there's a chance, um, and obviously Alabama's favored, you could face the number one overall seed in the tournament. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen them play. If each one of you could answer, you know, what are your thoughts on, on possibly playing a team like that? Um, for me, playing the top teams is what I want to do. Um, I came here to compete, and I feel like we can compete with any team in the country. And then also, it, it's about ourselves. We, if we focus on ourselves, um, we can be anybody. Yeah, like Lamont said, I think that's just the, the culture we have. We're all competitors. 
We have an a entire lineup of competitors. Uh, that's our mentality. Um, but yeah, just like Lamont said, like we just have to focus on ourselves and take it day by day. And I mean, everything will work itself out. Uh, like those two said, just focus on ourselves. Uh, I got the chance to play Alabama last year uh, from my old school. So uh, I understand what it takes to win the game and things like that. So we just gotta basically just focus on ourselves, really. We'll go back to Zoom for a question from Christopher Heidel. I know from Ferguson Radio in Baltimore, Maryland. Congratulations on the win today. What does this mean for the conference of the Mountain West? Because a lot of people here on the East Coast don't know about you guys because we don't see you play late night basketball. So explain to the folks about the Mountain West and how great that conference is. I just think it's one of the hardest travel conferences in the country. You know, when we're traveling to Laramie or Logan and we're playing at altitude at 7,000 feet in some of these environments, they're hard to get to, and we're battle tested. Someone asked me, what would it feel like if this building was full of Furman fans? I said, it'd feel like a road game, and we're 8-2 and two on the road. So we've been battle-tested. We're ready for any environment, and I think the Mountain West has a lot to do with that. Back row. Uh, Mike, a large contingent of fans there in the arena today. Just what did it mean to, to have that support behind you guys, and, you know, could you – feel sense them there and, and did it motivate you guys? Uh, yeah, definitely. It's, it's great to see all the San Diego State fans come out all the way out here to Orlando, Florida to come watch us play and cheer us on. So that means a lot for me and my, and my teammates. I know uh, our family members got to come out here. We got to spend a little bit of time with them in the hotel and things like that. So that just means a lot to us. You know? Final question for San Diego State. On the end there, row three. Thank you. Justin Deegan, Orange Blossom Sports. Congrats on the win, guys. Uh, with you guys going to the Sweet 16, maybe further, what do you feel is the key in those types of high-intensity games, whether it's offensive, defensively, or if it's just your mentality? What do you feel is, the, is that key factor for you guys? I mean, defense travels. Uh, that's, that's something that we have on the paper uh, every game, every way game. Um, so that's something that we hang our hats on. Uh, so I think that's going to take us very far. And uh, like tonight, if our offense is flowing, I feel like we're a very hard team to beat. Uh, but that's some, not something we have to rely on, which I feel like a lot of teams do. So I think like that's our advantage against our competition. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Furman University will be coming up shortly.